Newtonian Max Chrome RT drove a BMW all the way from Cape Town to Munich as part of the Back My Wheels campaign. Now he's joining us on Google Hangout all the way from England. He's going to tell us about his crazy adventure. Max, thank you for joining me. Why don't you start off by telling us what exactly the Back My Wheels campaign is? Uh, Back My Wheels, it's, it's the, the long, it's the name of our expedition. Uh, BMW is the acronym. And the reason that we went with that is because the, the whole idea of the trip was to drive a 24-year-old BMW that belongs to a close friend of ours uh, from Cape Town back to the BMW headquarters in Munich where they have a recycling plant and we were going to then recycle the car. A 24-year-old BMW drove it all the way from Cape Town to Munich. That's it. <laughs> How long did that take? It took three and a half months. Um, that's obviously including time to, to see the places and, and we connected with people along the way. Another big focus of the trip was to find inspired people who are doing work and making a difference in any sort of way. Um, and we've, we've got a, a page that describes more about that. Um, and yeah, the, the idea was once we've met these people to run a competition to help everyone else just get encouraged and inspired to achieve more. Now how many people came on the trip with you? There were initially five of us uh, from Cape Town up to Dar es Salaam. We were then joined by one of the team members' brothers for two weeks or for a week. And then they went back at Nairobi. They turned around. So the rest of the trip was just the three of us. Just the three of us. <laughs> you can make it if you try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, this sounds like a crazy, crazy adventure. Um, before we get into the rest of the interview, I want to know what moment on this trip really stuck out for you? Oh, I think when I pushed the boundaries a little bit too far and found myself in handcuffs at uh, 3 a.m. in Nairobi. Can you elaborate on that story? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to. Um, it was a an impulsive moment. Let's Let's go with that. I'm trying to find some good euphemisms here. Where it, we we had we had had a really good time. The spirits were high, energy was high, and I yeah ended up doing something that was, was wasn't very clever, um, was a bit disrespectful as well. So um, I we walked outside the the club where we were, and I just ran over a taxi, um, a, a car, and um, it made sense at the time. But yeah, it's a shame the guy was there, and only afterwards did we realize that it it wasn't a good thing. But it all ended well. I mean, I apologized. Um, and it was the only time on the trip we actually had to pay a bribe because there was an undercover policeman that we weren't aware of. That's, that's why it all went pear-shaped, um, which is quite you know, a good thing. But I suppose you know, when you're in the situation and you, you, you're a bunch of mates doing a cross-Africa trip, you're going to do things like that that uh, they get you excited but aren't always the best idea. Well, you live and you learn, I guess. <laughs> now, <laughs> Tell me about the people you met on the trip. Sure, oh, man, it, it, just just such a range of 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 different um, personalities from different cultures, and that is exactly what we were uh, looking for. Um, from guys who who are really you know doing things actively, NGOs and that kind of work, to people who just made a difference to our experience. They made us feel really welcome. And they helped us out when you know when we were in in times of need. So. Yeah, I mean, like a, a one guy who stands out particularly, and and our human achiever competition that we that we are running with Get Smarter is one of our sponsors. Um, the person who won the course chose this guy. His name is Jeffrey, and he's a teacher in northern Malawi. He's 24 years old. Uh, he doesn't have qualifications higher than high school level, um, and yet he's sitting there in a school of 700 students. I went into the classroom. There's nothing in the classrooms. It's always three chairs and a broken blackboard. And, but his thing is to really try and help a dif make a difference in his community and teach these young kids uh, some English and some basic maths so that they can be in a better position than he is. Um, and he was just such a humble guy. And what had happened is we pulled over to have something to eat and we found, saw a soccer field and uh, pulled out our soccer ball, which, which we had lots of because music and sport just bring people together no matter what. And uh, yeah, we ended up playing a big game with all these kids and then he came out to see what was going on and we had a chat with him. So he stands out as well. 
Now, was there any time on your journey where you thought you wouldn't be able to make it all the way to Munich? <laughs> yeah, there were several times. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, being being a, I mean, it's not a four by four that car. 